What's happening, y'all? We're gonna be priming my buddy Zest 13. We're gonna be using Transstar 6564. I've never used it before, but it's Tupac primer, so we shouldn't have any problem. Ideally, you should be filtering and straining your material into your container. But it's a primer, I'm gonna set it anyways, I don't really give a shit. Just gonna throw in the hardener, give it a quick stir, and we are gonna be putting it into our Vonti handheld HVLP. Gets it for Harbor Frey, link will be in the description. The spray pattern actually surprised me. First few strokes and everything after that were relatively smooth. First problem that I ran into was over here on the hood. The material pickup on the inside of the gun probably needs like some sort of baffle system to keep it spraying consistently when you're spraying against the surface. So if I were to redo this hood, I would take it off the vehicle and hang it up. You can see over here where it starts to spit because the pickup isn't getting enough material when the primer goes to one side of the container. First time using an electric HVLP, it's really not too bad. It's not made for urethane primers, at least not to my knowledge, but it's doing a pretty decent job at it. It could use a little bit more pressure for a little better atomization. And the only, only adjustment that you have is for the material and that's directly on the back of the trigger. Also, you can adjust the cap right there so you can spray vertically or horizontally. So I did try that just to see if the material pickup could pick up a little more primer. So this is what the surface looked like. I'm not sure if uh, my GoPro is going to pick up the actual texture of it. If I were to compare it to an actual gun, I would say it would probably be very similar to shooting primer out of 1.8 or 2.0. But for an electric spray gun for a DIYer, this isn't a bad route to go. Again, I would take off the hood, prop it up so you won't have any feeding issues with the primer and the material pickup. This one wasn't a bad buy. It's not my preference. I would definitely use it again though, especially for a DIY job. So I guess the next part that we have coming up for this is blocking the primer, buzzing it down, and getting it in some paint. Stay tuned. <laughs> 